Alright, so here on Web Dev Daily, I've been running into a pretty annoying issue, and you can see it if we do a refresh on this page or the challenge page. You can see that everything loads in here as it should, but in the console, we're getting something called a hydration children mismatch, and pretty much what this means is there is a discrepancy or an issue between the server rendered elements and then the client virtual DOM. Now with any issue that you might encounter while building your application, the first thing that I always recommend is just checking your code and making sure that nothing stands out. And in this case, I went ahead and did that, but you know, the page loads incorrectly, so I wasn't seeing anything that at least stood out to me. So what I went ahead and did next was I copied the error message that I had within the console and I did a quick Google search. And the first article that I came across was of someone that had the same exact issue. So if we scroll down, we can see that we have an answer from Daniel Rowe, which ended up actually being the reason why I was having this issue. So the problem is, is that you're nesting HTML elements that aren't allowed within their ancestor HTML element. And you can see they provide a couple examples of what this actually means, because that can be kind of confusing. So for example, an anchor tag cannot be within another anchor tag. And the same thing goes for a paragraph tag, which cannot contain any other block elements like a div. So here inside VS Code, I have the repo open for Web Dev Daily on the suspected page that we're having the issue. And we have a component called challenge card, which if we go back over to the browser, you can see is for each one of these cards that we have on the submission page. So if we take a look at the challenge card component itself, you can see how this works is the whole entire component is being wrapped in what is called a NUX link. And then we're allowing for some slotted content. And for those unaware of what this Nux link component is, it is a component from Nux that is wrapping what is called the router link component from Vue. So in this challenge card component, we have the slot of content for this particular instance of the challenge card. And knowing what we know now about not nesting elements within their ancestor elements, we can see that the issue is actually with this Nux link that we have within this challenge card. So essentially what we're doing is we have a Nux link nested within a Nux link. Now to resolve this issue, what I went ahead and did was I brought in the router and I set it equal to a new variable called router. Then I created a function called route navigation. And what this does is it's going to reference our router variable, use the push method, and it's going to push them to that particular page with the correct parameters that are being passed to this component. And instead of wrapping the entire slot of content in a Nux link, we're just going to wrap this inside of a div. Then we want to remove this to attribute and we're just going to listen for a click. And each time we hear a click, we're just going to run our function called route navigate. And back here within the application, if we were to do a refresh, we should no longer see that we're going to have that hydration mismatch because we no longer have that Nux link component nested within a Nux link component. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful and you learned something new. I can definitely see this issue being quite common within a Nux application just based on the way that we create components and things get nested. It's very easy to miss something like that and then have that issue occur while you're nesting, you know, for example, a Nux link within a Nux link. I definitely think that is something that could happen quite easily, especially when you're building out these reusable components. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like on it down below and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.